Mental Math Strategies for Addition Lesson 1.4. Make sure you watch the previous lessons so you won't become lost or confused. They're linked in the description. We can use mental math strategies to find sums. That means we are adding just thinking in our head. We can count by tens and ones. We can also use compatible numbers. These are numbers which are easy to add or subtract. And using these methods, we break apart add-ins to make them easier to add using mental math. We can count by tens and ones to do mental math. If we need to add 37 plus 15, we can break the 15 apart into a 3 plus a 10 plus a 2. We start at 37. We add 3 to get us to the next 10, which would be 40. We add 10 to that. Now we're at 50. And then we add the last 2, and that gets us to 52. So we added 3 to get to the 40, then added 10 to get to 50, then added 2 more. And we can do that in our head. We can use mental math. We could also look at it as breaking the 15 into a 10 plus 5. We start at the 37. We add this 10, this 110 right here. That'll bring us to 47. And then we count up 5 more. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So we add the 10 to get to 47, then just add 5 more. If we need to add 23 plus 18, we can break the 18 apart into a 7 plus a 10 plus a 1. By breaking it apart into this, we can add the 7 first to the 23 and get to 30. Then we can add the 10, which will get us to 40, and then add the 1, which will get us to 41. We can also do it this way, which I actually think is easier. We need to add 18, so we add this 110 and go from 23 to 33, and then we add 8 more, which gets us to 41. Either way, we can try doing it in our head. We can use compatible numbers to find 178 plus 227. We're going to break these apart into compatible numbers. And then it'll be easier to add them mentally. We have 178. That is equal to 175 plus 3 more. 227 is equal to 225 plus 2 more. We add these and we get 400. Then we add the 3 and the 2 to make a 5, and we get 405. So we can add 100 and 200 to get 300, and then the 75 and 25 to get another 100. That would give us 400. Then we just add the 1s. We have 405. We can make friendly numbers by breaking apart the add-ins, then giving part of one add-in to the other add-in. If we need to add 48 plus 12, we can break the 12 apart into a 2 plus a 10. We can give that 2 to the 48 and then add the 10. Then we would have 50 plus 10. That's a lot easier to add in your head. That would be 60. And because we gave the 2 to the 48, we need to take 2 from the 12. So 48 plus 2 plus the 12 minus 2. That would give us a 50 plus a 10. That's how I got that 10. We regrouped it and gave the 2 to the 48. We can add that in our head. We can use mental math. And we know the sum is 60. Normally, when we add on paper, we begin with the once place then regroup and add the tens, and then go to the next place value. So normally we would start here on paper and add the 5 plus the 7 and regroup. When using mental math, it's usually easier to begin with the largest place value. So to add 495 plus 217, we would add 400 and 200 and get 600. We'd add these first. 
Then we'd add the 90 plus the 10 and get another 100. Then we would add the 5 plus the 7, which is 12, and we would add that. So we would have 600, 700, 12. We start with the largest place value and then add on the next ones. So we start with the largest place value to make mental math easier. If we need to add 56 plus 32, we add the 50 and the 30 and get an 80. And then we add the 6 plus 2, which is 8, and we get 88. We added the tens first and the ones last. It's very different than doing it on paper. We're starting with the largest place value. Here we have our table from our previous video. It's monthly sales of cookies and candy bars in October, November, and December. So how many candy bars were sold in October and November? Well, in October, there were 318. And in November, there were 271. We need to add these two amounts. For mental math, we would add the 300 plus the 200 and get 500. Then we would add the 10 and the 70 and get an 80. Then we would add the 1 and the 8 and get a 9. That would be 589. We started with the largest place value because we're trying to do it in our head. Can you try adding some of these numbers in your head starting with the larger place value? Can you add 56 plus 74 in your head? We have 5 and 7 is 12. These are 10s. So that's 50 plus 70. That would be 120. 6 plus 4 is 10. So we have 120 plus 10 more. That would be 130. If you practice this, you'll get very good at it. Anything we want to do well, we need to practice. So remember, we can do mental math for addition by counting by tens and ones, by using compatible numbers or friendly numbers, and we can do it by adding the largest place value first. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.